guys, I wanted to show you finally the microblading session that I'm doing tomorrow and this is one year after I did it and I did record the first year that I did it but of course my fiance now accidentally deleted all those photos and videos. So I wanted to do a second video to show you how they do it. It's basically like a tattoo for your eyebrows to shape them and make them darker because I basically didn't really have an eyebrow. So I already kind of wiped this one off because I've been filling them in because it is long overdue my year. If you have kind of oilier skin like I do, it kind of goes away quicker. I should have probably gotten it done earlier than a year, but time has come. So I'd, I'll show you soon when I wipe off everything what is kind of left. And I'm sorry, I look so tired. It's like the end of the day and I need to take a shower. Okay, well, um, I'll show you soon what it looks like without any powder. Okay, this is my pretty, pretty face with no makeup on, but I don't know if you can see kind of where the blading is. It's kind of gotten pretty light, so my goal is to probably get a darker one, hopefully, if they agree that that's what I need. So, I'm gonna go so you don't have to look at this face anymore. <laughs> We're just measuring. <laughs> And we are doing the powder brow, which I'll explain why. So we're not gonna do the microblading today. We're gonna do the, or the powder instead. And I'll explain when I don't look like this. All right, here we go. I don't even feel it. Yay! So we're gonna feel a lot easier towards the tails. Once we get into that mid brow, you're gonna feel a little bit more Overall, it shouldn't be bad though. You know what I mean? Like, it should be relatively easy. And then I have more numbing agent that we're gonna continue to put on too. This is what it looks like the day after. I'm super tired and it looks really defined on day one, but it'll go down. So I will show you like from day one to day 14, it is gonna scab over because it is a tattoo, but um, it didn't hurt as much as last time, but it did. And I don't know if it was because I was just super sensitive this time around having my period and all, but we did the powder because when I showed you guys the before, it was really red. And it was because the girl before didn't go deep into my skin enough. So if I did microblading again to do a touch up, you could have seen the red behind still. So instead we did the powder, which is kind of like powdering it in and it looks like I put makeup on. And I was nervous to do it at first, but I'm gonna see how I like it. I like it so far. It is still like really dark and defined, but it'll lessen up as it scabs and all of that. So let's see how the days go. Here's a better view. God, I look so tired. Hi. I wanted to shoot this outside so there was better light because now when I get home from work, it's already pretty dark. I mean, not that dark obviously, but pretty dark. So it's still the same day then from this morning. So it's day one. The update is I definitely feel like I did something to my eyebrows, like obviously a tattoo because it's kind of sore. Um, it's kind of like if I scrunch like that, like it kind of hurts. And I do have this one uh, Instagram video that I watched before I decided to do this. And that definitely made me see how natural it could look. So. I kind of decided to do it but um, so it lasts longer than microblading especially because I have oily skin and that didn't really last that long for me so it'll be like an a year from now that I'll have to get it touched up and a touch-up is way more cheaper than a full set you know it's kind of like the eyelashes it's weird but once they measure it out 
all of that, that's in the first price, and then your touch-up is a lot cheaper. I can't get water on it for like, I think five days. Um, she gave me some petroleum jelly to put on it after five days to help with healing, I think, and the itching and all of that. And, and when it does itch, last time I just like put my finger like on it like that just to get it um, the itch sensation away which that wasn't harmful to the eyebrows and it worked so that's what I used to do beforehand it's day three um, nothing has changed it's not as sore um, and I saw a little bit starting to scab right there but that's about it still looking like this hi this is day well it's Saturday so I got it Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday day four um, they're scabbing as you can tell so you kind of look like a crazy person this day and it only gets worse from here because they, they end up all scabbing but I'm still going apple picking I'm not letting this deter me from living my life okay this is day this is the next day so day five so they are totally scabbing okay there uh, that part has come off probably when I was sleeping and I'm scared because I hope it's not gonna be this light so I hope they stay pretty dark, but they're totally scabbing and I have a, a bridal shower today to go to, but you can't really tell. I don't know, but yeah, they are scabbing. So I'll update you when it stops or tomorrow. I totally forgot to vlog after work, but this is what it looks like today. So it's totally like scabbing. You can see it's really light underneath and apparently it'll go darker after a, a little bit so it'll be really light underneath and then it becomes darker again but yeah so if you can take the day off of work on day six I would do it there's a better view Hi, you guys. Um, I want to turn around, but I, I'm going to warn you, I'm so oily just from today. I didn't put any uh, translucent powder on today, so hello. Um, this is what it looks like day seven. So you can see it's lighter underneath, and it's been scabbing off, and there's still some more to scab off. So I'm going to let it just scab off by itself. The artist that did this for me, she gave me petroleum jelly, and I've read opposite things online, but I did try it today. Sometimes online it says for tattoos it fades the color, and sometimes it says that it's fine for tattoos. So I tried it last night, I don't see any difference, I don't know what it's, it, it says it's supposed to keep it stay, to stay darker and not fade. So I don't know. I've read a lot of different things online. So I'm just going to do how I'm told. And day 10, I should be able to do everything I was able to do before. So it's day 7. That's the update. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Hi, y'all. I am even oiler than yesterday. This is day 8, I think. They're looking good. They've kind of all kind of come off and the color should be coming back. Soon. So yeah, so far. No, so far so good. He's so like. Still? Yeah. Okay. So far so good. Stay calm, Dad. This is day ten. They're looking good, darker and good. This is day eleven eyebrows. Nothing really has been changing. I think they're getting darker, but that's kind of what they're looking like right now. So, oh, by the way, they were itching a ton two nights ago, and I'm not sure why, if it was the IPL photo facial I got done, which is like a laser, um, but I don't know why they were itching so much, and they still kind of itch, but like what I do is I just put my nail in like that to make the sensation go away. So, I don't know, but. They're looking better. Well, is nothing really changing. Looking good. 
I did notice today that the eyebrows are like you can see a bit of red underneath and I think that's from my old microblading because it didn't go deep enough into my skin that it produced like these red hair strokes from the microblading so I don't know if that's what it is it might be it'll become darker supposedly like as the days go on so hopefully they do get darker because I miss that first day second day dark eyebrow look as much as it freaks you out in the beginning you're gonna miss that day one day two because I like how dark they are because then I don't have to fill it in and like now I feel like I have to fill these in to match my hair color you know I like when they're dark with the hair they match like that but so I don't know we'll see how the days go on hi this is day 14 of my eyebrows it definitely needs to get a little bit darker, but I'm loving the shape and everything about them. So, yay for that. Hi. Okay, so I my hair is obviously still wet. Um, I'm getting ready to go somewhere. So, this is the brows without any powder on them. And I wanted to show you the difference of with powder. So, <laughs> we're going to do a little experiment i want to use this mayel brow kit because i have not used it yet because i got this right before i did the microblading and i couldn't use it so i really wanted to try this out so let's do this and okay so you might think like oh you don't need to touch your brows they're fine but i still like them to be dark because my hair is so dark so i also realized in this little kit there's this thing that has the exact one that I have. So it looks like this. So it's the exact same thing that I have. So let me zoom in for you. So I'm gonna use the lighter shade of them all. So this one in like this. And just follow the shape of my eyebrow currently. That's why I like the microblading and the powder brows because I don't know how to do my eyebrows, so to have like a you know, like it's like a stencil kit is awesome. So do you see how much more defined this one looks? And I just use the lightest shade. So let me even go in a little more. So it's so much more defined, just like that little bit. I just love like how it looks they also give you this white one which you use with this brush and this is the brow gel kind of sets it in place i'm gonna link this thing down below because it's awesome and it also gives you a stencil for your eyebrow so i didn't use it because i kind of have stencil already on there from the microblading but awesome okay one thing i did forget to mention I think I edited this out which is the reason that I can't itch the eyebrow when it's scabbing is because you don't want to take the scab off because it'll take the color and pigment off as well so that's why I kind of like poke it so it takes the sensation away um, all in all like I love getting them tattooed it doesn't hurt that much it lasts for probably a year hopefully this time and like they're not as red as they were last week so or earlier in the week so it's been a couple days now from that last video and I like totally recommend it you can DM me questions on Instagram or ask me here in the comments I'm gonna have a blog post up too of like all the details all the aftercare stuff so that's in the description below too because I know you can't get all the information in a video so go check that out. Definitely subscribe for more. I'm actually going to be posting a micro needling and IPL photo facial procedure video that I got done. So that one was really fun and my skin is like to die for now and I'm loving it. So subscribe for more. Like this video. Give it a thumbs up and we'll see you next time. Bye.